In other words, this is the physical, right? Remember when I was here before I talked about the, you have the outer universe and the inner universe? You already mastered the outer universe. You already know about your, your, your planets, your solar system, your galaxy, your universe. I hope you know there's more universes than this one. And there are more universes than those. And there are more universes than those. And within those universes, they can go what we call today interdimensional. So we have all that. If I say dimensions, you know what I'm talking about. If I say uh, anything dealing with the physical, like we were saying earlier, black holes, supernovas, suns, stars, you already know that. What about the inner being? Do you really know about your chakras? Do you really know that the fact that you have dimensions outside in the universe and you too have dimensions with inside of your body? You have portholes of black holes that do give formulation to gas. And we all get that gas feeling in our bodies, the same way the universe does. So we're so busy in the outer, sometimes you got to turn yourself inside out and start pertaining to the inner. Start doing a little fasting. Start drinking more water than anything. Start putting good thoughts in there. And then you start realizing that, hey, I got planets in my body. Hey, I got solar systems in my body. The same thing you saying out this way is this way. The same way we saying, what's out there? You better start asking, what's in here? Because it's the same thing. Now there are other energies in there that are <coughs> African Mysteries was trying to call, what's that? And what's that? Now, what is it? I know it's Bach, but what is it? <laughs> the soul, the spirit, and what else? Something that's, that's, something that's everlasting, and you know what this Ankh represent? This here, the mind. Because the mind is pure energy. Energy can never be destroyed, it only what? Changes in appearance. So the energy took the form of the body and the heart. So now what do we have? Do we know about our mind? Can we pinpoint when me and you want to go to the movies and I say, let's go to the movies and you tell me you were just thinking about that? That was a reaction there. That was a reality statement there. And, I, and the only thing that comprehend that were our minds. So mind can do what? Talk to another mind. See, the body is talking now with all this. But what about mind to mind? That's when you go inside of yourself and you be able to bring out those qualities in which we all have. Ain't no special person don't have it. There's not a person in here, in this room right now, that hasn't had a thought that went to their cohort, their mate, their friend, their teacher, and they answered that question. And you sitting there saying, I was just thinking about that. So it, it's all of us, we all had that premonition where we go like this. And just open the door and say, come in. And we, and we already know you there before you get there. And we all have that. Everybody in here has that. Pick up your cell phone and be like, what you want? Damn, it didn't even ring. Well, how did you do that? Shut up. <laughs> what is it? And then your mind is so powerful, you can make people disappear. She ain't there. I ain't talking to her. You see her? Oh, this is women got that. <laughs> I don't know her. What you mean on that? I don't know her. Now let's go. Right or wrong? By mind, you can make people disappear. This is what's turning inside out. Get the qualities of what's in and bring them out. And let them be balancement with the outer qualities. And you'd be surprised how easy you can do it. But it just takes time. You know, don't watch cartoons so much. <laughs> Try to make your own cartoon, and then you'll see the difference. When, you, when you're watching something, and you say, I'm not going to watch that no more, and you start doing it, you will see the difference. There's a heck of a difference between them. And watching somebody else create something to what you've created. And then you started, the, the best way to start doing, getting into your inner mode, is a little concentration, a little meditation. Once I, like I said earlier, a little fasting, drinking more water than anything, you'd be surprised how much water get your memory back. Things as simple as that will get that spirit, get that inner being rolling. Because there is an inner being in here. And sometimes it'll let you know. Don't steal that. You'll be like, why am I stealing it? You listen, there ain't nobody there. And you see, 
the thought comes, don't steal that. Because <laughs> you already you know, let you know. This side is saying steal, and this side says don't steal that. <laughs> Another side, why not? <laughs> and then they gave it, they call it God and the devil, right? They call it, they call it in, in other forums, you have your subconscious, your conscious, and then one day you're gonna learn about your superconscious. And that deals with the inner focal point of yourself. And they all align themselves with different energies. And some other energies are taught to you different. Like if you get, you, you ever get that spark where you rub like that? Well, that spark starts from here, your spinal column. Because each part of your spinal column has electromagnetism in it. And it gets to the point where you can control it. You can get it to where it comes down in, and then you can push it out. That's why sometimes when people are showing you things, they're trying to really teach you things. I be watching all these superhero, and I be like, I like for all that cartoon colorful stuff. Let me see what this guy, and then I watch a guy, all he's doing is lining his energies up from his spinal column through the energies of his brain, and he gets it like that. You ever see that in movies where they go like, and they call it cheering up? All he's doing is getting the energy from here and he's doing it like that. You, remember, remember, I mean, you know I'm just using this hand. Remember when I was like, you don't exist? That's the same energy, watch the hand. You don't exist. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you ever play basketball, you know you always get at the joint like that. You build it up and then you go dunk or whatever you do. So we do have it. We just never paid attention to it in the point that we can control it to understand it. And we all have it. You be messing around and then you shock the Negro. They be like, whoa, what did you do? And you be like, huh? <laughs> and, and your conductor was something like carpet. Or when they in church, and my man already got the sign. That's what he do. He be in church, he be running around, and he be like, "The Holy Ghost got me the whole lot. Look at that shine. Come on with that game. Anybody can do that. But if you don't have the knowledge of it, and you don't are not aware of it, it will get you, and you'll be like, "Whoa, he got power. <laughs> That's the Holy Spirit." But it's something we all have once again. So yes. You can embark on your inner being, and that's what it means by the outside, turn it inside out. Let some of your inner feelings in there sometimes. Let some of your inner energies take over. And the best way it takes over is through fasting. Today. Meditation. Today. Okay? All right. Yes, brother. Can you um, elaborate more on drinking water and, and fasting? Drinking water, they, well, this is, it's funny you said that. When you fast, that what it means is, it's something that Muslims try to teach the world every year, once a month, and they call it Ramadan. And the word Ramadan stems from the word Rama to burn out. Now, when you say dawn, even in English, you would spell it like this. In English, you would spell it like this. And, it, and if you notice, it has two A's. It's a double burning. It's the burning out of all physical desires and the burning in of the spiritual desires. Meaning like this here. If you can't drink, you can't eat, you can't have no, you know, enticing music, no sex, no, 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 no anything that deals with the physical, cut it out. So you burn that out. And then as you get more spiritual, you feel that burning of the spirit. And you realize that my body is going through a whole change. You, your stomach starts shrinking because you're not eating as much. You're not, you're not being lustful as enough. So you, you don't look at women as a sexual object sometimes. You look at her as your, as your sister, or you look at her as a mother, daughter, or a, a friend, as opposed to always looking at her as a sexual object. You'll learn that in fact. Then, what the spirit does, you realize that you can live with your spirit a little bit more than the physical thing. So you really may not have to watch TV every day. You may not have to go to the club every weekend. You may not have to go to the movies but once a month. Because now what you're replacing that with is meditation. You're replacing that with 
what we would call today giving or helping the people. You'll understand once you calm down, because you, you know, doing a family cake, drinking nothing, so your senses come a little better. And then you start realizing that I have forgot people. And that's where the water comes in. The reason why they say break your fast with water, because it heightens your memory gland. See, right in the back of your head, right here where, mom, where I'm hitting right there, these are your memory glands. And what water does, water enhances your memory glands. They strengthen them. They make them powerful to the much. You be, you be remembering all kinds of stuff. But now if you finish fasting and you go get that blunt because you miss it for 30 days and you start, then you're going to destroy the memory glands that you just built up. Because that's what the blunts do. They destroy the memory glands. So what happens is they go hand in hand by bringing in the spirituality by fasting and enhancing your memory by drinking water. Both of them are purifying you. One is purifying your well-being, meaning your physical and your spirit, and the other one is, is cleansing your body to accept the spiritual aspiration. So it's good to drink a lot of water, and it's good to fast. And oh, you know when you fast, you get on your own nerves. Because when you start fasting, you get that horrible breath, and you realize you got to tighten up. See that? And now some people fast, they don't get They get that dry effect. Some people fast, and they say, I need it. You be like, whoa, oh boy, whoa. <laughs> you need to get all that out your body. <laughs> That's what the fasting does. It gets a lot of pure, it gets a lot of impurities out the body. We should do a little fast, and we always should do a little cleansing. Herbal cleansing, tea cleansing. You can drink some teas these days, it'll flush you out. And you'll see what you've been holding in your body for years. And that's an ugly thing. It make you feel lighter, make you feel better, you get more energy. Because when we eat a lot of meats and stuff, we just in our colon, in our intestines, just sitting there. And it's rotten. Because you know that ain't nothing but how old is that? That boy don't know. That ain't nothing but doo-doo sitting in there for years. And doo-doo can be poison. Feces is poison. So you gotta scrape some of that out. Brand cereal to do it. <coughs> So many herbs and cleansing to do it. And teas today, they got teas that can do it. So you see where that, that water comes in again? For that tea, purify yourself. Yes. So it's good to fast, it's good to meditate, and it's good to drink some water. You meditating anyway. You could be in the house chilling or in class, and you sitting there, teacher boy, your mind is drips. So you already doing some good meditation. Especially if you got a boiling boyfriend, and you sitting there, and he's just talking, boy, you be sitting there, you be gone. <laughs> All those girlfriends, and you be gone. So you meditating anyway, y'all know we do it. <laughs> Especially in class. Teaching me, boy, in the head. Columbus discovered America. You be like, come on, Columbus discovered America. Why I got to hear that crap? And it just bores you. So you meditate. And you try to reach out for something your mind wants to grasp and make it interesting to you. So you, you, you all, and you, everybody, we all know how to do that. We just got to do it where we can control. When we do it when we feel like doing it. Okay? Any more questions?